So at IT Sligo Game Development, we take a very software engineering approach to developing games. So we are talking gameplay programming, engine programming, the more logical side of building these applications. So we're not particularly interested in design or content. Uh, we're more taking abstract rules and applying these in code and actually making behaviors and experiences for people to actually play and, and enjoy. So very project-based, we like to think that if you want to learn how to design a game, there's no better way to do it than to practically jump in and actually make one. So each year you'll have a range of projects. So first year, for instance, I teach Introduction to Games programming. Uh, each week we do a brand new game. And then for four weeks towards the end, the students go in a group and get to build a game by themselves. So in second year, it's all projects as well. And in third year, we even have more projects. So very, very practical. Uh, it's not just sitting in a room, listening to a load of theory. You're given work with your lecturers in the room with you each week. Uh, to complete and build games and based off games that you'd be very very familiar with then as well so tech mechanics that you know seeing how we do this in code so it would suit really anyone but probably more people if you have a bit of patience i think um patience is going to be very very important particularly in programming um, you're going to run across a lot of bugs and a lot of problems and having a bit of patience to sit down to think it through and to solve those problems is essential um, an essential skill to have as an actual programmer as you move throughout the course obviously we start off in first year very very kind of simple concepts start to move into more complex ones in second year and by the time we get to third year students are fairly comfortable with the idea of building games and game engines so we start to move into more bleeding edge technologies like augmented reality on mobile devices and virtual reality so oculus htc vive or whatever else is available to us so we do try and stay ahead of the curve a little bit by seeing what's out there uh, and kind of staying in the top of it also along with like live service games so these are online games where everything is completely online, all your inventories, all your player stats and everything, um, cross device, we're just really trying to cover everything and kind of get to that area. Yeah. The type of jobs that our students would be, our graduates would typically be going into would be the likes of level designer, gameplay programmer, um, systems programmer, QA tests, uh, a wide variety of stuff but on the programming side uh, we've had students then go all over, I say all over the world, we have a lot working in Dublin, we also have students working for Rockstar out in Edinburgh in Scotland then as well uh, and students who have even gone for job interviews or worked part time for companies like Ubisoft out in Berlin in Germany. So we have work placement in third year and in third year students work all the way up till about March, into March, and then they go on their work placement where we try and get students industry placement. So you get to go work for a games company for 12 weeks at a minimum uh, and gain some skills, gain a bit of experience to see what it's like to work in a real world team in a real world environment.